Okay, so a lot of people have asked me about how I put my magazines in bags and boards and different sizes and a bunch of questions. So I just thought I would make a video so that anybody who wanted to know, I could just refer them right back there and they can take a look at it and, you know, take care of their collection. Um, I've been doing it for a long time, so I've kind of modified the way that I've done it over the years. But these are some of the best practices that I've been able to come up with that I really like. So as you can see here, we start off, we have a very small uh, book right here, a little magazine. And we move up all the way up to something as big as a newspaper style magazine, which is really huge. And um, I try to protect everything, so I had to come up with different ways. Obviously, stuff right here in the middle is um, standard size but even with standard size you run into stuff that is very thick so they don't sometimes go in those ones so you have to have a bunch of little tips and tricks here so I'm just gonna kind of go through and show how I do each one in certain order so for anything that's smaller than this everybody knows these are like the standard size magazine bags and I do use the BCW they, I don't, I'm endorsing them just because they're the best ones that I've used. I've used different ones and over the years I've had like a magazine like this with a different, like a cheaper brand, a thinner brand. And they start actually cracking, especially if you take them off or even with tape. It starts making cracks in them after, and I've been able to experiment with them for over 20, 30 years so. I've seen the endurance of them over the years and how they work. So I've made a lot of adjustments to what I use. And if you have standard size one, these are the ones you want to use. These BCW magazine uh, bags and boards. They're two mil, mil uh, uh, polypropylene uh, bags. They come in hundreds. And if you're going to buy these, you also need to buy a hundred stack of these uh, same BCW uh, backings. And these, these things really make a big difference. These are the key to them, I always say, because when you have a magazine, even if you're covering the top, you cover it from smears, stains, or anything like that, but bending, spine wear, none of that is taken care of if you don't have this back area. So, but back to this small one. So anything that's under standard size, like this One Love, which I just got, which is incredible. And this Frank right here, down south issue. They have different sizes, so I use these. They don't make them specifically for them, but these are Digest and Manga uh, bags. And again, I buy them with the mini back, mini backboards, backing. So like something like this, what I'll do. And here goes a technique that I use also that I use a lot. I use on everything, not a lot. I use every single time is that I'll take one of these and obviously it's like a pouch. I don't use the ones that have the little um, the little seal on here because like for me, I always go back and open them. I don't like to wear that out because then it doesn't work anymore. So the first thing I usually do is I leave the, the, high, the lip on the top side. I'll take one of these. Now even these um, boards, they have a really rough side and a smooth side. So you want to keep the smooth side um, where the magazine is going to lay on. So if you have the flat right here, you're going to just give it a little twist with your finger right here to open up. And you slide it in there. And that's how it slides. But instead of putting it all the way in, I usually go about halfway. I grab the magazine. I'll stick it in there. And then I'll slide the whole thing in all the way to the bottom. Once it's at the bottom, I turn it upside down and I use scotch tape. I used to use this tape, but this stuff, once you put it on there, it, packing tape, it'll, it'll rip every time you take it off. So scotch tape's a little bit softer. Grab just a little, little tiny piece, pull over the flap. I'll close it. And I'll go down, not across this way, because if you go across, I don't know if you've noticed, but tape at the end, because where it gets um, taken off, 
it has those little ridges. So if you put the ridges this way and you try to open it, it's just going to tear the ridges as you try to pop it. So this way, when they're coming horizontally, you can get under it and pop it back up. And without touching it, touching your fingers on there and getting dirt, and then um, it won't seal anymore. You can just put it right back. Voila. Now you got a Frank 151 in a nice little container. So I'll do the same thing for this uh, for this One Love magazine. Take it, flip it over, get the, the glossy side in there. Throw that in there. And also, when you put in magazines, one of the things I noticed, because the spine is a little bit stronger than, than the outer edge, and they, they can curl or bend or, you know, get creased when you're doing it, I usually slide it in um, on that side first so that it's secure in there. So when you're sliding it down, it doesn't um, do anything because the spine's a lot stronger. Once again, get it in there, slide it all the way through. Now... Here's an example with all these other ones, you're going to have the same thing. For magazines this small, you have two options. You can put them in a standard size one, like this one, but you're giving up a lot of space for a smaller magazine. So something like this, what I do is it still has a bag protection, but if you look, the board is not, is not um, covering the whole thing. But I'd rather have it like this because it looks nice and compact. And then you just got to make sure that this top piece covers and at least the lip touches the, the white boarding up there so that it doesn't put tape on the actual magazine. So it's the same thing. I'll slide it over the magazine and then pull so that's nice and snug. Still covering everything. You, obviously you don't have any backing up there, but it looks nice and slick. It's nice and covered. Perfect. So these are standard size magazines, you know, like eight by 10 and three quarters or whatever it is. So I use for these ones, since we're done with these, for these ones I use just the ones that I was showing earlier, which are the standard size boards and standard size uh, magazine bag. And they do have a tear right here on the top that you can do, but I like to just use the bottom right here. It has a little seal. They're nice and clean and then um, but even with standard there's all kinds of different things that happen like when you're looking at this kite magazine as you can tell it might fit in here I'm not really sure I haven't put it in something but it, it's a little bit wider than a normal magazine I think you see here same standard size but it's a little bit higher on the top so it should be okay as you put it in there so Grab one of those, lift side up, grab one of these standard size boards, pop it in there, grab the rhyme, and again, see this is what happens, like if you put the rhyme with the spine first since it's a thick magazine, there's a chance of this popping up and then as you're trying to pull it in, it's just going to rip it backwards. So instead of doing that, I always go spine first and push it down. Come over to the spine area and then pop it in. And see, like this is a kind of thick magazine and it's really snug in there. So you have problems when you end up with really thick magazines like, um, like the source number, like 99 or 100, which is somewhere here. But if you know those magazines, they're like super thick. Some of those, some of those source magazines, so it becomes a problem. So that's another trick that I'll show you. Same thing, piece of tape, pop it on there, and you're good to go. It's nice and protected. I was going to show this kite one as an example, but I don't think it's really going to be an example because I think it's just going to fit straight in here and you'll know what side the glossy side is when you get comfortable with it because they all um, you can feel the difference in on both sides as a matter of fact I put this one backwards so 
So we'll try it with this kite and see if it fits in there. Yep, it fits nice and just right. And so you always, you can slide right here. You can actually just hold it and slide it if you really wanted to with, and it'll push itself down. And if it's a little bit too thick, you'll see because it'll curl in there. But this one fits perfect, perfect. Now like this, this Nipsey right here uh, program, as you can see, this one fits snug and the spine is not even a third. It's about a third of what this one is. So now you have another issue because it's too thick to fit in one of these. But as you can see, I fit it in there. So um, same size, same length and width. But the problem is it's too thick to fit in here. So one of the things that I had to do, which is a little trick, instead of putting it in a large large one is I did the same technique to get it in there but once once it gets in there it was originally bowed bowed like this so there's a little trick even though it looks ugly it'll keep it secure if you go on the back end side of it right here and you stick your hand in there and you use your middle finger hold down pinch down and you push up with your thumb without breaking it what you do is you stretch out the you stretch out the um, tape, I mean the plastic a little bit. And yes, it does leave this nasty, ugly mark right here. But even that little give, what it does is it stretches and lets the spine loose a little tiny bit. Then you're able to fit something that's standard size but very thick. And you you have to do that if you're doing source like from ninety. Issue number 98 with Master P all the way until about 112, somewhere around there. And then you can do the same thing in the front if it's really thick. You can just go like this with your thumbs and push like this. And you can push on all edges right here. Even go like this with the edges. And it'll stretch the plastic out a little tiny bit. And that's how you get something this thick to fit in a standard. Now this one I can already tell it's too big for a standard size because... This is the max size right here. And as you can see, it's way over. So that's it for like standard size stuff. The next ones I use, which are these ones right here. Again, it's just going up, upgrading to different sizes. Now you got the Life Magazine boards. And these are a lot larger. Now these are, this is where it gets a little complicated. Because, I mean, there's actually a few ways to do it and I'm still I'm still trying to figure out which one I like the most I go back and forth sometimes but I try to keep them all standard so again glossy side in with the top lip and the problem with this is that from from these right here you'll be able to do this one to this size to this size to this size but they're all different sizes from this one to this, which is really huge. It's completely different size. So when you stick this one in there, and that'll go with uh, Vibe magazines too, the same thing with the size difference. When you put them in, you got two things you can do. Again, you can leave it like that and have a lot of gap space right there. And pretty much all you have to do is close it up and tape it. But some people want them tight like this where there's no outer edges. So what I usually do if they're this size and I don't have my, my um, I get a piece of cardboard and I put it underneath right here. And I get it right on the edges. Take my X-Acto knife and I pretty much just get a, get a ruler and go straight line down here all the way across. And then I do it right here, right across. And I thought I had one in here where I did that. I don't. But once you get it in there, what you can do, we'll just do it as if it had a board underneath. But once you get it, get it in with the board the same size as, as your actual magazine, the next step you can do Let's say it gets in there with a nice size board. You can flip it over. And what I usually do is I fold these two edges right here. 
I'll grab a piece of tape. I'll get it nice and stuck, snug at the bottom. And then I'll make a second one right here at the top of the, of the magazine. And that keeps it from shifting because if you, they shift, they can still damage the edges if you're moving them a lot. Then I'll take one at the top, I'll fold it, and then I'll pop it right in the middle. And that way, again, it's nice and clean. Obviously, this one doesn't have a board underneath, but it keeps it nice and sturdy, and you don't have all that white space that's going over it. Now, when you get to like the larger issues, like this respect right here, these ones, I just leave them, I leave them directly in the, the size of the standard uh, Life magazines. Stick them in there, do the same thing. I'll pop it in there. And another thing I used to do, which I don't do anymore, but you can, ins even though you have a little bit of a space on both of these edges, sometimes I used to just slice it right here. You can put the you can put the blade up against the magazine, but just make sure instead of it being straight, it just has a small little angle so you don't rip the pages. And I'll pop it right here. Boom. Just one little tap over the top. You end up getting into larger magazines like this that are barely fitting again. See how this corner is a little bit curled in there? So you want to make sure when you put it in there. If you don't, look, you can see it right. I don't know if you can see it right there, but it's it's curling up even worse if you push it in like that. So again, what I do is I make sure that it's underneath first. Both sides are a little bit underneath and it's pushed under it. So when it slides, it slides nice and neat. And so this one fits really nice. It just has that white and if that bothers you like i said you can take that off but i'm starting to keep everything in these standard size like this not only that but it's easier to tape and it it's not as clunky because it just has one piece of tape it doesn't have the extra curl right here boom You're nice and done with that one um and then last and the same thing with like hip-hop connection here's one with the standard size um magazine uh, bag and board on it but uh, these ones from the UK are just a bit taller than US magazines you can tell so you have that same dilemma of where you want to what you want to do with it for these I use standard and it the lip actually goes over the top again so I keep them in these because they're nice nice and tight and it's better than having to have those big boards and then always slicing them and bringing them down you can also use one of those chopping boards that they have too, or the paper choppers, or this, or the little razor ones to make them nice and neat. I mean, that's all up to how much time and effort you want to put into it. Um, and then last, these are like the largest, largest ones right here. Um, for something like this, um, they sell bags where you can have them for newspapers where they're folded, but. Obviously, I, I hate to have that little crease right here in the middle, so I've kept them flat. And what I use is there's a last one, which is another size. And that's these the newspaper uh, sleeves. There's, these are the 12, 18 by 9, 19 by 19, 18, eighth, eighth, not 18. And um, they have different sizes for these newspapers, so I, I found that these ones are the best ones to use. Um, at least for me, I like these ones. And... Um, I have one here and what I did was I kind of you know I just rigged this up the way that would work for me so what I have here and I ran out so I'm using the one that was actually in here is I use a newspaper bag and I just put one of the life magazine bags and boards and again you're gonna have a little bit of space out here that's not protected with a board but um, it's better than having no board underneath I mean, there's other ways you can get a piece of cardboard and again slice it out the same size and then you just slide it in there now the last tip i'll say which everybody does is if you're opening something and then putting it back in is for this piece of uh, tape to latch onto it while you're bringing it in so um, what i do again i use the the board to slide it 
because as you can tell the board it, it'll latch onto the board right there if you don't do it properly so you got to be a little bit careful and then what i'll do i'll slide it in i'll lift the tape make sure i'm holding the tape as it's going in And then once it's in there, again, that's the whole reason for keeping the board a little bit out because you can help it slide in and still be able to pinch this tape right here so that it doesn't, um, doesn't mess it up. And there you go. Now it's in there. You can flip it. Give it a nice fold. Oh. Now it's all nice and neat, and it's still better than it being super flimsy. It has a little bit of give still, and you, you still have to leave it in a flat area so that it doesn't uh, fold or anything, but it still gives it some nice protection, especially if you're just handling it like this. You know, and newspapers, they get damaged pretty, pretty easily. Um, and as you can see, even the same thing with the herb, these huge herb magazines. You got a little bit of room up there, but they look nice and neat in here. And again, if you're really, really into it, you can you can curl this corner right here and and tape right up there and tape at the other end to get that. Then last, if you want to display a few, this one's an old one. I just took it out because I don't have any more, but um, you can buy these in like 10 packs and they're like the card holders for like thick, uh, baseball cards but obviously the size of a, like a magazine and you can use those you can put them in their plastics and then you can slide it in there hang it on your wall do stuff like that if you just want to keep it like or a really valuable one just to give it that extra gloss and look and then you have a nice one that you can put somewhere and that's about it I mean, that should cover just about anything. Anything you have that doesn't fit in these large newspaper uh, size stuff, um, I would just, I would create something to put them in. Or find some bags that are, you know, some some other type of bags that are large enough to slip in here. But if you're going, there's not very many um, magazines that are larger than this right here. You know, so if you're finding something like that, then um, you have to like makeshift something. And I've done it with one newspaper that co it, that comes out too wide. It's a UK magazine. I think it's a Melody Maker. And so for those ones, I have cardboard underneath. And um, I have them wrapped, actually. And they're just using regular plastic. And then I had to nicely turn them over. But so there you go. I mean, that's pretty much it. You got your small standard ones look all nice and neat. You got your larger ones, standard um mid-size oversized um, standard and um, just over standard thick standard normal standard and a little bit under standard so i hope this helps out a couple of people that have been asking me and sending me dms you can use this and uh and uh kind of use it as a mini t tutorial on how to keep your magazines nice and neat and obviously it doesn't it works for more than just hip-hop magazines but for me i gotta cherish these things so i keep everything nice and clean like this and to be honest it actually saves uh prevents a lot of damage because uh at one point i had a uh, fire extinguisher go off um, when i had them stored and so i had to replace all these covers and they were smeared with that white uh white um stuff that comes out of the fire extinguisher but you know what all of them were protected and there was nothing wrong with them it was just i had to go and buy um more of these bcw bags but um anyhow that's that